General Hospital spoilers updated for the week of July 1st, predicting an emergency meeting took place at Deception. Of course that is related to the recording released on the Invaders website, and it directly affects the Deception company. During that meeting, Natalia Ramirez was the center of criticism. Because Natalia caused the problem and Blaze was also affected, because she was like the face of deception. Lucy Co. and Lois Cherulo could not accept these actions, they forced Natalia and Blaze to resolve the problem and give a specific explanation to the public. Maxi Jones will be the one to help Natalia deal with the consequences, even though Maxi doesn't want to do that. Maxi warns that Natalia has messed with the wrong person, in addition to Natalia defaming Christina Corinthos Davis and Blaze. Natalia also insulted gay people, they certainly did not let this matter subside. Maxi also learns of Sonny Corinthos' current unstable condition. Of course, as a leader of the criminal world, Sonny will not forgive the person who insulted his daughter. So Natalia faces even more trouble, if Sonny decides to attack. Maxi, Lucy, and Lois could also decide to sever their contracts and fire Natalia and Blaze as well. Of course, their dismissal will directly affect deception, but perhaps that is the best way to avoid deception being boycotted by the public. Alexis Davis will also receive a series of news regarding her daughter Christina. Alexis wants to calm Christina down when Christina is angry and wants to do something dangerous. It seemed like Christina wanted to go to Natalia to ask questions after seeing the news, but Christina's real intention was to attack and teach Natalia a lifelong lesson. However, if Christina did that, she could go to jail, not to mention the fact that she could lose the confrontation with Natalia. That means both Christina and the baby will be in danger. Alexis promises Christina that Alexis will investigate this matter to the end. Alexis knows Natalia has caused a big problem but Natalia won't be foolish enough to post the recording herself on the web. Alexis knows someone is up to no good, and of course what Alexis needs to do is stay sober at this point. Diane Miller will tell Alexis some important information over the phone. Alexis no longer works at the Invader, so Alexis won't know what happened there. However, Alexis will have a target of suspicion in Adrian DeWitt. Alexis also believes that Nina Reeves could be behind this story. Few people know that Ava Jerome is the one pulling the strings. Of course Alexis will question Adrian and that makes Adrian scared. Adrian makes a secret call to Ava Jerome and suggests that Ava handle the situation. Instead of accepting Adrian's offer, Ava chooses to stay silent and let Adrian deal with it himself. However, the person who knew exactly that Ava released the recording was Natalia. So no matter how hard Ava tries to cover up the truth, Natalia will soon find evidence of Ava's dirty deeds. Because at the time the conversation took place and was recorded, only Natalia and Ava were present. And if there was someone sneaking around outside, the recording certainly wouldn't have such clear sounds. Back to Sonny, after Sonny broke his own phone, someone knocked on the door. Sonny may want Diane to leave, or Diane may also stay there by keeping quiet. Since the person who came to see Sunny was Alexis, she wanted to know how Sunny would solve the problem. Of course Alexis, Sunny, and Diane will work together to find the best possible solution to help Christina.